For Lord Jesus Christ, we're going to be shouting, shouting hallelujah as we enter a new day, as we enter a new year. We're going to shout hallelujah. 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 Happy New Year. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We appreciate you, Lord. We thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Glory to God. Welcome to 2024. Welcome to 2024. Welcome to 2024. Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, glory to God. Glory. Congratulations, you made it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I yield myself to you. And I said, Lord, speak in me and speak through me. Let your word come with grace. Let it come with power. Let the Holy Spirit take charge. Let your intentions only be communicated. And let your voice only be heard. In Jesus' name, Amen. Genesis chapter number 8, verse 18. If you have the amplified, classified, that will be good. Or any other translation you have. Are you there? What did he say? Let's read it. One to go. Sons. And his sons and his wife and and his sons' wives with him. Nineteen. Every animal, every creeping things, every bird, and whatever creeps on the earth according to their family went out of the ark. 20. Then Noah built an, an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and of every clean bed and offered burnt offerings on, on the altar. And the Lord smelled a smoothing aroma. Then the Lord said to his heart, I will never again curse the ground for man's sake, although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth, nor will I again destroy every living thing as I have done. 22. Why the earth remains seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer and the day and night shall not cease hallelujah amen praise the lord hallelujah the story he just we just read is about the story of noah this was the second chance god gave to man this was the second chance god gave to man after god destroyed the whole earth he only preserved Noah and his family. And the Bible says, when the, rain, when the rain stopped, and the sheep ducked, and the whole earth was dried, Noah 
went to God and asked God, What should I do? And God said to Noah, Go forth. Open the, open the ark and come out of it. That's where we started from. And Noah went forth and his wife and his sons and his wives with him. After being in the ark one year and ten days, every beast, every creeping thing, every bed, and whatsoever moves on the land went forth by families out of the ark. And Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean four-footed animal and of every clean fowl or bed and offer burnt offering on the altar. Amen. Out of the mega stuff that was remaining from what he had, from the few things that survived with him for one year and ten days that was left, the whole earth was empty. It was empty. Nothing was there. It was plain. Would it not be wise if Noah has heard what he had and keep it and start to survive on it until he's able to grow new plants and rear new animals? It will make natural sense to do that. That would be the best logic for any wise person to do. Because he's not sure how long it will take for him to grow new plants. How long for the animal to produce new springs. And the one he has, he took out of what he had and he gave to God. He built an altar. He built an altar and sacrificed these animals to God. And God was pleased with the sacrifice. When the Lord smeared the pleasing order, a sense of satisfaction to his heart, the Lord said to himself, I will never again curse the ground because of man. Hallelujah. I will never again curse the ground because of man. What is referring to is what happened in Genesis chapter number 2, chapter number 3, where he caused the ground for Adam and Eve sick. And he said, because they ate of the fruits of evil and of good, the art of their sweat of their face, will they feed themselves. Now, God is giving man another opportunity. This time, this time through Noah's family. And Noah, the first thing he did was to build an altar. Was to go before God in prayers and in honor of what he has done for preserving him for one year and ten days. Because he knew if God has kept him for this great flood that took away almost the whole earth 
and supplied his needs in an en enclosed environment with all of his need met that God could be trusted that God could be dependent on so as you have crossed also to the new year do not forsake the altar of God do not neglect to honor God in the place of his altar. Not minding where you may have been, where you are right now. Whatever you might be going through. You agreed with me earlier today that God was the one that kept you that woke you up every morning, that kept you standing. So there must be something you can do for him. There must be something you can appreciate him for. You don't, God don't require such a big sacrifice for you to be pleasing unto him. God look at the heart, not at the size. God look at the, the, the commitment, not talent. God look at the willingness, not your ability. If you have ability, God can use it. But if you don't, it's not a problem. He can give you new abilities. So Noah took these sacrifices. And God, because of Noah, reversed the decision that he made. God changed his mind concerning man. So no matter how difficult the situation might be, if you trust God and you show him that you trust him, he can change anything for you. He said, never again. Not was it only talking to Noah. He said, never again will I destroy the earth for man's sake. So if the earth refused to produce for you, you have the right to remind God. I say, God, you said, never again will you destroy the earth for man's sake. I am a man. Are you hearing me? I am here. I'm a man. But that is not where I'm going. When God said that, God did not stop there. He continued. Let's read what he said. He said, I will never again cause the ground because of man. For the imagination, the strong desire of man's heart is evil. Has man changed? said, for the imagination of man's heart is evil. Their strong desire of man is evil and wicked from his youth. Neither will I live again. Never, neither will I ever again Smit and destroy every living thing as I have done. Why the earth remains, see time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Hallelujah. 
That was God's final declaration. He said, not only will I not cross the ground again, not only will I stop this, but so long as the sun remains, so long there is a day called day, there is night, there is winter, and there is cold, and there is summer, he said, seed, time, and harvest will not cease. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. See time and harvest will not cease. Is that seed time? Not harvest time. Seed time. There is a time for seed for seeding. There is a time for planting. And he said, if you plant, there must be harvests. The planting is done by man. But the growth is not controlled by man. The harvest is not controlled by man. God is the one that causes the plant to grow. God is the one that causes the plant to produce. And God is the one that helps you gather the harvests. And the Bible says that it is not the seed that goes into the ground. It's not the same seed that comes out from the ground. Hallelujah. He said, it's not the body that, of the seed that went into the ground that comes out from the ground. So don't hold on to that which you have too much. If you are ready to plant it, God is ready to multiply it. I said, if, if you are ready to plant it, God is ready to multiply it. So in 2024, you must be able to seed your life. You must be able to seed your life. Number one, with prayers. You must seed your life. You must seed the atmosphere. You must seed everything concerning you with prayers. If you don't, even when God is willing to, he cannot deliver it to you. Systematically, in November of last year, last year, that's awesome. <laughs> November of last year, we say it was our mort of the right order. So if you are in the right order, meaning you function as God created you to function, and we said December was our month of the spirit, because your spirit man must dominate your soul and your body. That's how God intended it. And if you do that, and you function from the spirit realm to the physical realm, then one thing is sure. You must increase. I said you must increase. If you function correctly, if you function in the right order, and you participate in spiritual exercises, According as the Spirit of God directs in his word, you must produce. Because he said, seed time and harvest will not cease. In that process, God did not factor in that there might be destroyer of seeds. God did not factor in 
that there might be locusts after it sprang up. It did not factor in that there might be the Amalekites that might destroy the crop at the season of harvest. He said there must be harvest so long there is day and there is night. So long there is winter and there is summer. Seed, time, and harvest will not cease for any man. Whether you are born again or you are not born again. If you plant, there is no way that the devourer can continually devour all that you planted. It will be against God's law. Tell somebody I must stop people. You are only unstoppable if you don't stop praying. Are you hearing me? You are only unstoppable if you don't stop praying. If the devil, if the devil, the demons can stop you from praying, then you are stopped. For the ordinary man that is not born again, his talent, his money, his influence will make him unstoppable. But for you that is born again, you play by a different rule and the kingdom has rules. Are you following me? And the rules is that so long as you are connected to your source, the materials with which you were created, are you following me? What materials were you created with? You were created with the word of God. So long as you stay with the word of God and you follow the details of the word of God, the Bible says he is the bread of life. He is the light of the world and he is eternal life. If you stay with that word and you obey and you carry out the instruction given to you by the word, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what happened out there. Your spirit man will cause your environment to produce. I said, your spirit man will cause your environment to produce. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you have been in, on the prayer line, there have been some confessions we've been making over the last three or four days. And one of them is that every time I come in contact with the word of God, I am imparted with abundant life. I am imparted with abundant life and my environment is imparted too. Hallelujah. You know what you said? It that as you prosper in your spirit, that's how the Bible put it. He said, as you prosper, in, God wants you to prosper on the outside as you prosper in your spirit. So if the word of God impart eternal life to your spirit and in, an abundant life to your spirit, your environment must be imparted with the same life. It doesn't matter if there is drought. It doesn't matter if there is confusion. It doesn't matter if there is diseases. So long as your spirit man is strong, so long as your spirit man is connected, so long as your spirit man is staying with a source, you will excel. You will do well. I said you will excel and you will do well in the name of Jesus Christ. And Once you start to function well in the right order as God intended and you play by the spiritual rules that the word of God delivers to you, you 
will make progress. You will make progress. The Bible says, the part of the just is as of a shining light, which shines brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. What did they do that make them shine brighter and brighter? Every Christian wants to quote the Bible. But after quoting it, you will ask yourself, what is my commitment? What is my responsibility? What should I do to make this a reality? What should I do? There are some. Today, they function in their spirits. Then tomorrow, they function in the flesh. The Bible said they are neither cold nor hot. They are neither spiritual nor solely fleshy. They are a little fleshy and they need you spiritual. And they expect results. It won't work. I said, it will not work. It will not. I wish there was another thing, another way I can put it nicely than to tell you the truth. It will not work. And for you to even function in the spirit realm continuously and you neglect your responsibility that comes with functioning in the spirit realm and obligate what the Holy Spirit expects you to do and you want the Holy Spirit to do it, it will not also work. Did I say it too fast? The Holy Spirit can help you and strengthen you. But he cannot supplant and perform what is your responsibility. The Holy Spirit, it can help you, it can strengthen you, but it cannot take up what is your responsibility. Your responsibility is to know the word of God. Your responsibility is to act on the word of God. It's your responsibility to pray to God. It's your responsibility to trust God. The Holy Spirit can help you if you are doing it. But if you are not, and say, Holy Spirit, I am relaxed, you take charge and do it for me, it will not work. The Holy Spirit is to help you is to help you, energize you to do what you could not ordinarily be able to do on your own. So if this year must be different, we must do our part and we must do it well. And the Holy Spirit will energize us. It will strengthen us and will enable us to achieve the results. The word of God never fails for those that put it to work. Because God said seed time will not fail. And harvest is guaranteed. Then if you go to the book of 2 Corinthians, for time's sake, 2 Corinthians, he said, now before we go to 2 Corinthians, let's do Isaiah. Isaiah 55, verse 10. Isaiah 55, verse 10. Glory to God. He said, as the rain and snow. And snow come down from heaven. Comes down from heaven. And do not return there without watering the earth. And does not return back without watering the earth. Making it bear and sprout. Making it bear and sprout. And providing seed to the sower. And providing what? Seed, seed to, to the, the sower. sower. And bread to the eater. And bread to the eater. 
So will my word. Say so will my word. Be which goes out of my mouth. Be which goes out of my mouth. It will not return to me void. It will not return to me void. Without accomplishing what I desire. Without performing what he desires. And without succeeding in the matter for which I sent. He said, without succeeding in the matter on which I sent it. Hallelujah. 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 So if the word of God prophecy comes and it fails, it's not because God did not or was not able to perform it. It's because we did not do our parts. Are you hearing me? So in 2024, you have to make a commitment. Make a commitment to serve God, to follow him in his word, to do every spiritual exercise that is recommended and you we blossom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Second Corinthians chapter number 9 verse 10 and 11 you see in Genesis God said see time and harvest will not cease and he said, it doesn't matter so long as you, as you sow, you must reap. Amen? And in Isaiah, he said, if the rain does not reverse after touching the earth and goes back by itself without watering the earth, if it's possible to happen, then it is possible for his word to fail. And he went ahead to, said, to say that so long as those conditions are not met, that his word must deliver on his promises. His word must perform. And you must have what the word of God says. So let's see what Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10 and 11 says. Yes. Now he who provides seed for the sower. He said, now. He said, now. Hallelujah. Who provides seed for the sower? Who does that? Who provides the seeds? God. God. He said, he provides the seed. And the best seed God can give you is in his word. The word of God is the seed. He said, if, this, if the earth remains and if the rain comes down and the snow comes down and it doesn't go back without doing that which is supposed to do, so is his word that he has spoken. And his word is the seed. He said, if that seed comes into your heart and come in contact with that fertile heart, that have been concentrated, that have been praying, that have been seeking God. He said that word must produce results. Go ahead. And bread for food. And he said he is the one that also provides bread for food. Will provide and multiply your seed. He for said sowing. he we provide and multiply the seed that you have sown. And increased the harvest of your righteousness. He said he will increase and multiply the harvest, harvest of your righteousness. Verse 11. You will be enriched in every way. He said you will. Tell somebody I will. Be enriched. I will be enriched in everything. Meaning you will lack nothing. Absolutely nothing. You'll be enriched in everything. Uh huh. So that you may be generous. He said the reason why he wants you to be enriched in everything is so that you will be generous. Meaning you will have more than enough for yourself, for your family, and have some to spare. May that be your testimony in 2024. Amen. Go ahead. 
And this generosity administered through us. He said, this generosity that is administered through us is producing thanksgiving to God. He said, it will produce thanksgiving to God. It will bring an offering to God. It will bring praise to God. But the truth that I want you to see there is that he said, that God is the one that provides the seeds. And he is the one that multiplies the seeds. No professor, no scientist, after you plant any seed, is able to multiply it. No other man can say what the Bible said. No other book on the face of the earth can proclaim that they can multiply seed that have been sown. If you sow one mango seed, the best you will get is one mango plant. But God said, in my kingdom, if you sow one, I can make it 10. I can make it a 100. I can make it a 1,000. I am able to multiply it. Why? Will he multiply it? Are you ready from the Amplified? Okay, give me from uh, the Passion Translation. Why is he going to multiply it? He said he would do this. One. In order. He will multiply the seed, not the harvest. Are you following me? Because if the seed is multiplied, the harvest is automatically multiplied. If the seed is multiplied, you have no problem at harvest time. It must come and it must be in abundance. You have it? Yes. Please. Yes. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 10 and 11. Yes. This generous God who Say, supplies... This generous God... Yes. Who supplies abundant seed for Who the farmer? Who supplies abundant seeds for the farmer? For the farmer? Which becomes bread for our meals. Is that this seed becomes bread for our meals? It's even more extravagant. Is that he is more extravagant? He has more and is willing to give it. Go ahead. Even more extravagant toward you. Towards who? Say God is extravagant towards me. Towards me. God is not selfish. It's not selfish towards me. And it's not selfish towards you. It's extravagant. He has more than enough. And he's willing to share it with us. And he's willing to give it to us. Go ahead. First, he supplies every need. He said first, he supplies every need. He supplies every need. Why will he supply every need? He said you should come to him with every of your consign. You should come to him. Ask him of anything. There was a place we were reading in the last three days and praying with. He said, do not worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. But through prayer and supplication, make your request known to him. And he said, he will meet it and he will exceed it. Go ahead. Then he multiplies the seed as you sow it. He said he multiplied the seeds as you sow it. So that the harvest of your generosity will grow. He said so that the harvest of your generosity will grow. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead. You will be abundantly enriched. He said you will without fail absolutely abundantly enriched. In every way as you give generously. In every way as you give generously on every occasion he said sometimes sometimes no he said in every occasion in every occasion that's it for when we take your gifts to those in need. He said, when we take these gifts to those in need. It causes many to give thanks to said, God. It causes many to give thanks to God. So this year, this year, 2024, God 
is going to give us accelerated harvests. I said, welcome to 2024, my year of accelerated harvests. Accelerated harvests. Why? Because the seeds are multiplied. Because your prayers are multiplied. He will cause kings and kingdoms to come to you. Oh, glory to God. He said, kings and kingdoms will come to you. He will cause the spirit of God. You might be thinking, how will this possible? I am new. I don't know anybody. I don't even have a job. How is this possible for God to multiply my harvests? Uh, glory to God. You see, the, the, the spirit of God is the one that enforces the word of God. The spirit of God is the enforcer of the of spiritual laws and the word of God. So, as soon as the word is released and you do your part in spiritual preparation through the spirits, God will set in motion and cause those things to manifest. All the prayers you've been praying in 2023, it is time for the harvest in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I set the seed of your prayers are multiplied so that your harvests could be accelerated. God could have told you if you plant, I will make sure that the harvest comes without saying multiplying multiply the seed. Your harvest will always be more than your seed. Your harvest will always be more than your seed. But God said, I don't just want that. I will multiply the seed in such a way that it doesn't matter how many locals try to destroy, they will destroy some. But you are going to get more than one seed that produce. You did not hear me. So if God multiply your seed to 10 and locals destroy three, who is still ahead? How much were you supposed to? How much did you sow? One. So you are already winning. In 2024, it's going to be absolute victory. Absolute. You will win in every count. Absolute victory because of the word of God and because of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All things, the Bible says, we work together for the good of those that loved him. I said, welcome to 2024. My year of accelerated harvests. Accelerated harvests. Accelerated influence. Accelerated help. Everything will be accelerated. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can you just stand up and pray and, and thank God. Pray in the spirits. Li kaba sata kaba yenderebo. Mangale soto shiba baba ratekebo. Li donzo liba. Thank God for the accelerated harvest. Thank God for the accelerated harvest. For accelerated harvest. Mashata kaba ye. Manderebo shaba baba ye. Lete kozi baba ba. Father may be unto us as we have declared. In the name of Jesus. Let it become accelerated harvest in every area. In the name of Jesus. Absolute victory. In every area. In every area. In every area. Head wise, absolute victory in finances, absolute victory in spiritual work, absolute victory. In the name of Jesus, this is my year of accelerated harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare 
that come what may in the name of Jesus the word of God will prosper concerning me it will prosper concerning my ministry it will prosper concerning you in the name of Jesus it will be acceleration everywhere it will be speed everywhere it will be speed everywhere victory everywhere in the name of Jesus Mashata Kabaya Libro Samande Roko Si Baba Baba Likonso li baba shate gezo sabaka yonzo li kabaya Ete digo shodi gaba baba bayi Mazalonzo li baha shata kalenzo li baha Rashata bozo li kaba soto zi baba ba Maka soto zibra late Asia baya bala masala haye Asola baba kabaye In the name of our Lord Jesus Father we thank you Lord for your word has said that your seed time and harvest will not cease. As long as there is rain, as long there is sun, as long there is as as long that there is day and there is night, Father God, I declare that your world will succeed in our lives. In the name of Jesus, it will indeed be a year of accelerated harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father everything that you said in your word you are able to perform father tonight we stand on your word that is our year of accelerated harvests let our prayer come before you as the prayer of noah came before you and you made a declaration for that tonight that declaration that is our year of facilitated harvest will be our reality in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Kings and kingdoms will submit to us. Resources we did not own will be handed to us. For the purpose of the kingdom and the advancement of the gospel, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the favor that is required, the influence that is required, I decree they are made available. In the name of Jesus, the connection and the favor that is required in the name of Jesus shall locate us. They will find us. They will meet with us. In the name of Jesus, many will come and they will say, I have seen that the Lord is with you and I'm going to partner with you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Help will come from everywhere. We come from all direction, from all nations, from all people. In the name of Jesus Christ, harvest hand will come so that they will help with the harvests. You will have harvest hands. In your life, there will be ha ha happy helpers. In the mighty name of Jesus, the glory of God will go before you. The anointing of God will go before you. The grace of God will anoint you. In the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God will prosper concerning you. It will deliver to you what he has promised. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to 2024, my year of accelerated harvest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell somebody welcome to 2024. My year of accelerated harvest. It's my year of accelerated harvest. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit of God is propelling me and positioning me for greater success and growth. Oh, hallelujah. I am positioned and I am prepared by the anointing of the Holy Ghost for greater success and growth. In the name of Jesus, I say greater success and growth. Greater success and growth. Greater success and growth. In every area of your life, there will be speed. In the name of Jesus, because you are prepared. You are prepared. You are prepared. And you are positioned for greater success and for greater growth. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen.